We're investigating the Greenland tipping point, so let's travel to the tiny fishing village of Alulasat on Greenland's west side to look at the Alulasat Glacier. So Greenland is the largest island on Earth, and the Alulasat Glacier near Alulasat drains the center of the ice sheet. Okay, well we've picked up an ice-hardened vessel and we're headed out towards the ice fjord that contains the icebergs that are being dumped off the Alulaset Glacier. Big changes are affecting the Alulaset Glacier and they're all due to global warming. The glacier's flowing faster and it's dumping more ice into the bay, so we have these incredible icebergs all around us. So let's find out just how much global warming is happening here. Greenland is one of nine major tipping points identified on the surface of the Earth. And a tipping point is a place where when climate change reaches some limit, that place changes. And it changes in such a huge way that it then has a feedback effect on climate. So let's look at this animation produced by NASA showing temperature changes uh, around the planet. And let's keep a special eye on Greenland and see what happens there. The NASA animation very clearly shows the polar amplification effect, where there's more warming at high latitudes, and Greenland is having a lot of warming above its usual temperatures. Prior studies had suggested that as the Earth warmed to about plus 1.5 degrees C above the normally accepted baseline, that Greenland would start to melt and it would be something that couldn't be stopped. It would just melt until it completely disappeared. Well, we're there. This year, the planet has reached 1.5 degrees C above the long-term uh, climate average that's used as a baseline. In fact, some months are approaching 2 degrees C. It's a very rapid increase in temperature increase. So Greenland is there, and it's on its way to melting. What does that mean? Well, Greenland is the second largest ice sheet on Earth, and right now it's producing about a millimeter of sea level rise per year but that's gonna accelerate as we go forward and greenhouse warming increases. If we go to Greenland and we measure things as accurately as we can, it seems that about half this mass loss, half the melting, is happening on the surface of the ice sheet because it's warm and it's melting, but about half is happening by dumping icebergs into the ocean. And the place that dumps the most icebergs is right here. We're looking at these huge icebergs that are coming off the uh, Alulasat Glacier and this is the source of a significant amount, about half of all ablation coming from icebergs, and right from this one glacier, about 10% of that. So this is perhaps the largest single source of melting that's affecting the entire Greenland ice sheet. The Alulaset Glacier has been studied for over 150 years, and it's been known as one of the fastest moving glaciers on Earth, moving over 20 meters a day through most of its life. But now we have global warming, and this has had a very strong effect. It's more than doubled the speed of this glacier. It's now moving over 45 meters, over 120 feet per day on average, moving the ice from the glacier down to the sea where it calves off and creates the iceberg field that we see here today. These beautiful icebergs can be as much as 300 feet or 100 meters high. But that's just part of the story because the bulk of their mass is below sea level. So in total, the icebergs can be 3,000 feet or 1,000 meters thick. Why so thick? They're draining out from the central part of the Greenland ice sheet. The Alulaset Glacier, formerly the Jakobshavn Glacier, comes right out of the middle of the ice sheet. The glacier has been retreating for over a century, but with global warming now it's flowing faster and faster and delivering more and more ice to the sea. 
And so what, we, what it's left behind as it retreated is something now called the ice fjord, choked with icebergs from the main part of the Greenland ice sheet. On this satellite image, the blue arrow shows where the ice sheet ice fjord margin is today. So as this retreats backwards, it's going more and more into the center of the ice sheet. And here's a photograph from NASA showing the active margin where calving's occurring today on the um, Alulasat Glacier. So much ice is going down into the ice fjord that the entire surface of the ice sheet around it is lowering as this pink color shows the elevation of the ice sheet is lowering due to melting and mass coming down into the Jokobshavn or the Alulasat Glacier. Okay, we're thinning the ice sheet around the margins. We're also melting it on the top as global warming continues. And one can imagine the Greenland ice sheet might disappear. And in fact, this happened about 400,000 years ago. Drilling through the ice sheet has found a layer of plants and soil about 400,000 years old, showing the, the ice sheet totally melted at this time. CO2 was about 290 parts per million, but already we're at 420 parts per million in the atmosphere and going much higher as we continue to burn fossil fuels. More CO2 means more global warming and more melting. So is this Greenland's climate future? Okay, we've finished our trip and we're heading back to port. We've been visiting the Greenland tipping point and we're focusing on the Alulasat Glacier, which is really the tipping point of the Greenland tipping point. And around us, we see these huge icebergs, beautiful, but they're all gonna turn into sea level rise. What happens in Greenland doesn't stay in Greenland. It'll come soon to visit a beach near you.